So, have you ever been in a situation where you need your wood, your firewood, to dry really fast? Well, there is something you can do to help it. Like, let's say it's, let's say it's the middle of summer. You're taking down a, a red oak. But you need to burn it that winter. Now, technically, it would not dry out enough to be ready for winter. But there is a way to help it along. I will tell you. Well, let me just show you. Let me just show you how I did it. I've run into this before. And this is how I did it. And it worked. So, let me show you what I did. First, there is a big old round over there in the weeds. I'm going to rule that out here and show you what I do. And the first thing we got to do is fire up the saw. Each of these slabs is probably a hundred pound or more, probably in the ballpark a hundred pound. So now we just split it.
All right, so as you can see, forget stacking it. It don't stack worth a squat. Wood dries mainly from the inside out. And the shorter you cut your pieces, the faster it dries. I've actually been in a situation before where I cut them half this size before. But this is the fastest method I found to dry out wood. Yeah, stacking it, forget it. It won't it won't stack worth a squat. But if you're in a situation that you don't have the proper drying time, this is your best method, I think, personally. I've seen people just split it normal and just burn it anyway. But you'll be better off in the end if you do this. It will, it will lose its moisture a lot faster. I'm all winded now. <laughs> but so just a little tip there. If you're in a bad situation, that's what I would suggest. I would do this before I tried to burn something that was green, if you know what I mean. That's the only method I could find to get the wood to dry out faster than normal. That's it. And if it's red oak, it's you'll notice me splitting or cutting my pieces down even green. If I, if I can't split it and let it soak for a year, year and a half, two years, I usually cut it down into about four inches and then split it from there. Uh, it just, it dries out better, you know? But I don't stack my wood. And if you stack your wood and you're, you're better off to plan way ahead, but it, you know, sometimes you just don't have a choice. I've been there. Uh, when I moved and I put the wood burner in, it was already, I'm trying to remember, I think it was already like around Halloween. I had no time to prepare. So I went out and I found a dead tree. I took it down and I actually cut it into two inch wide slabs. But yeah, this is the fastest way I can find wood to, or get it to dry because most of your moisture loss goes out the ends. You know, uh, most of it. Like if you ever stuck a piece of wood on a fire and watched how the steam shoots out the end, you know, that's, you know, it's, I think it's because the grain, how do I explain it? I think the grain is kind of like a straw, you know, it goes up the length of the tree. And once you put that heat onto it, you can see the steam shooting out the ends. So if you cut them shorter, the moisture don't have to go as far to, to escape, so. But I think that's the best I could tip I could give you for today. So till the next time, catch you later.